Hi everyone, I've got a craft haul to show you today. It's a mix of crafty things, paper packs and a few bits and bobs from different shops. It's a long one, so better take your tea and coffee now. I don't usually process my videos with sounds, as it's not that easy to have everyone keep quiet while recording, but this time I managed to get all those crinkle sounds. The first thing I want to show you is these two washi tape packs from Dove Crafts. These have 20 rolls each. Uh, this is the Brights collection and has lots of colorful designs. So let me take them out of the box so you can see better. Just look how lovely and colorful these are. If you love rainbows and unicorns, then this one's for you. So I have some clouds, a few abstracts, sentiments as well. This is how big they are, the rolls are 3 meters each. I already have a few Dovecraft washi tapes in my stash and uh, do love the quality of these. The second pack is the Pastels collection. I keep thinking it should be called Naturals. They're not really pastels. So let's take a look inside. There are lots of florals, a few lovely wood designs. A few sentiments. That's a really lovely collection. So these are the washi tapes. Let's go to the next thing. I also got a few wooden shapes. I like painting these and will find a use for them for sure. I have a few Christmas shapes. I know, I know, it's a bit early to mention the C word, but I have to, so sorry guys. If you have an Etsy shop or plan on attending a fair this winter, it's better to be prepared. The shapes are bigger than expected and quite sturdy. I think this will look great painted or maybe heat embossed. What else? A uh, few bicycle shapes. A uh, few cute crowns. Some uh, VNA wooden shapes that I intend on painting. A set of four badges. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but they were so cute. And I got a rainbow keychain as a gift with my order. Next, I have a few art supplies. So I got this Winsor Newton uh, knitted putty rubber. 
I love this type of eraser as it's mess free, not like a regular one and it's stress free too if you play with it. I needed a new set of acrylic brushes and got the Windsor Newton one. I still have a few of these and they're perfect. And the other set is for my daughter, she keeps telling me she wants smaller brushes, she does not like the kids brushes at all. I got two decoupage uh, paper designs, so I have this map design and this sort of uh, knitted one. And also got a bigger bottle of the decoupage glue that I really love. Uh, got two sets of book binding rings which are really useful if you plan on making like mini albums or similar things like that. So I have uh, two different sizes. These are the 25 millimeter ones. And these are the 19 millimeter ones. If we're talking about book binding, I'm going to show you these cute toilets from We Are Memory Keepers. These are half a centimeter and I got the cool metal pink and aqua sets. Next is the card packs. I got the Doofcraft Tropical card pack. And I'm going to show you how pretty these are. This is practically a mirror card, but more matte. And they're just gorgeous. Look at those colors. So that was the tropical card pack from Dovecraft. I got a pack of premium mirror card as well. Then I wanted to try this glitter felt on both two different packs. So I have the golden silver one and the more Christmassy pack with uh, red, green and white. I think this would be perfect for making Christmas tree decoration, we'll see how that goes. So let me show you how these look like. So you have a glittery side and a normal plain colored side. So the silver is grey on the reverse and the gold is yellow on the reverse. Next I have more glitter! <laughs> so I got the A5 premium adhesive glitter card from Dovecraft. These have a uh, backing paper and are ready to be glued to your project. You could make your own glittery stickers with these or use it for intricate die cuts. I'm always happy to save time gluing. And the last uh, glitter card is the A4 double-sided glitter card. 
I pick the rainbow pack. These are great as they uh, really are double sided and it seems that it's a non shedding uh, glitter card. I am really happy on how it looks like and I'm really excited to test this one. One of my favorite things for die cards is can Oliver stick it adhesive sheets. These are like double sided sticker sheets. So you glue one side to your paper, die cut it, facet cut it, whatever, and then fix it to your project by taking off the backing paper. I also got more adhesives, I got a few double sided tapes, you can never have enough of these. A glue pen, this is great for details. Some foam tape, I wanted to test the dot and dab one, I usually use the 3M double sided uh, foam tape. The one I have from dot and dab is 18 millimeters. A glue runner, great for quick projects. A PVA glue, I'm going to test the Tonic Studios one. And bought a few red line tapes as well. The Craft Perfect ones from Tonic Studios are great. I got the 6 and 12 millimeter ones. And also got a low tech tape as well. This could be useful for fixing your project to your work surface. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!